So any one person's one breath. You guys get atoms from that breath right now. Now usually people take more than one breath. Leonardo da Vinci, honey, old dude, took many, many breaths. In all his breaths, you have hundreds of billions of atoms of Leonardo da Vinci's breath in you or any other person who lived for a long time. So you were made up of the atoms of everyone who was ever before you. How many people in the world today? About four and a half billion? That's four and a half times ten to the ninth. How many people compared to how many atoms in your lungs? Which is bigger? You notice a lot of people. People at ten to the ninth. Atoms at ten to the twenty-two. How many people have been on the planet since the beginning? Nobody knows. But Arthur C. Clarke has made an estimation, and he said it this way, behind every human being stands 30 ghosts. That one thirtieth of the human, of all human race from way back is walking the earth today. That number is changing quickly. Let's say one thirtieth. So that means there are 30 more people on the earth from time zero than there are now. Now there's about four, four billion. <coughs> And there's 30 times that number for the total number of people that ever lived. Three fours of 12. Call this 100. That's like 10 to the 11th. 10 to the 11th is 100 billion. So 100 billion people in the world. But the number of atoms in your lungs, 10 to the 22, what's that? Billion, billion, 18. 10,000 billion, billion atoms in your lungs. So many, many, many more atoms in your lungs than people that ever lived. So you can be rest assured that inside your lungs or inside your body at any moment are atoms from every human being who ever lived.